What's up everyone and welcome back to TV Box Top, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. Today's review is about this latest projector from Vankyo. This is one of their budget models called the Vankyo X3. So in this review, we take a look at what they included in this budget model and for the price if it exceeds expectations. So that's up next, stay tuned. So we are back and in the box you get the X3 model itself. You get one infrared remote control, one HDMI cable, one AC power cable, a quick start guide and a user manual. So the X3 model has a native 1080p display resolution, a brightness of 300 lumens, it has a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. Aspect ratio of 4x3 and 16x9. Its light source is LED and its display is LCD. It has a maximum viewing distance of 5.9 meters with a 200 inches display. It has electronic focus adjustment, dual band 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity. It can play Dolby Audio and you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker by connecting your mobile to it. So as mentioned, it has a very trendy design and it adopts a vertical layout with an IR sensor at the bottom here and an autofocus camera to the very top. You have its glass coated projector lens and for some trendiness, it has a fabric covering on the lower half to add some contrast to its appearance. Its rear design consists of one HDMI input, one USB 2.0 port, a headphone jack, a rare facing IR sensor, its AC power socket, a trendy carrying strap, a grill for its internal speaker, and a second for its internal cooling fan. At the top, you have a single LED power button, and to its base has four anti skid rubber feet, and located below each foot, you will find a screw hole for ceiling mounting configuration. So the boot up process features a simple Vankyo splash screen, then you're taken directly to its main menu. Its main menu consists of options to access media connected via USB such as movies, music, sports and text documents. If you press the down arrow, you will access options to switch to its HDMI source input, its screencasting options and its settings area. Its settings area consists of picture settings where you can adjust its projection direction, its display zoom feature up to 75%, its color range, its aspect ratio, and its display color presets and custom color settings. Under system settings, you can change its on-screen display language, perform software updates via USB, restore factory default settings, and set sleep timer settings. Under other settings, you can adjust its on-screen display timer. You have the option to connect to dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz. And the option to enable Bluetooth and connect to your Bluetooth speakers or use the projector itself as a Bluetooth speaker. For playing videos via USB, it can play 1080p up to 60Hz with Dolby Atmos. It cannot process 4K videos or any other surround sound audio formats such as DTS Audio. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a 
is a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. For looping images, you simply enter the photos option, browse to the folder containing your images and click anyone and it will begin looping all of the images in that particular folder. If you press the OK button, you can access options to control the loop. Unfortunately, it only has one transition style. It comes with an electronic focus adjustment and that can be adjusted using the focused left and right buttons on the remote. However, it does not have an autofocus feature, so the built-in sensor at the front is non-functional. Mirroring your mobile phones, tablets, PCs and Mac computers to this projector is quick and easy. Simply open the casting app that's compatible with your device, scan with your device to detect the projector's signal ID and connect to it to begin casting. For devices connected to its HDMI port, it's compatible with official media players such as the Google Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV devices. It's compatible with the Chromecast HDCP 2.3 protection encryption, so you get Netflix in HD 1080p. And because it has Dolby Audio, you get Netflix in Dolby Atmos also. Whether Atmos is relevant on this projector is questionable because the projector only has one internal speaker, it does not have an HDMI output, and it cannot produce Dolby Atmos over Bluetooth. The only way it applies is by allowing you to play self-hosted videos with Dolby Atmos. So I will now connect it to an Android TV box via its HDMI input and play a high quality 4K HDR AV1 video and adjust its focus and display settings for an optimal display. One thing I must admit is that its lumens are very bright for a budget model and it produces vivid colors. What I find not to be optimal is its electronic focus. Even though you achieve the best focus manually, it's not the sharpest compared to those with an autofocus feature. So you just heard the quality of its internal speaker, and even though it's powerful enough to fill a small 20 by 20 feet room, it may not be adequate for rooms beyond that size. So you may need to connect it to an external speaker via Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connection. To do this, put your Bluetooth speaker into pairing mode. Open the other settings in the settings area and turn on Bluetooth to host mode. Then click the Find Bluetooth Device option to locate your device. The 
world is changing. Soon there will only be the conquered. And finally, for internal fan noise, it's a bit on the louder side, generating around 49 decibels from a distance of 1 meter, but it's not unbearable to the point where you can't use it. If you enjoy gaming on large projector screens, then the X3 does a pretty good job at that. Here is a sample with it connected to my gaming PC in 1080p resolution at 60Hz. In summary, for a budget model, I really like the brightness of its lumens. Its internal speaker has some deep bass. I like its electronic focus, Dolby Atmos audio support, compatibility with Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV devices, and its trendy design. What it lacks is an autofocus feature, audio options, and keystone correction features. So there you have it. And that was my review of the Vankyo X3 budget projector. If you are satisfied with the quality of this model and believe that it suits your pocket, then take advantage of the available discount coupon and purchase link which I placed in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about product giveaways, open box deals, and when new videos are released. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Stay connected and see you in the next one.